Hello and welcome to HP Calx, everybody. My name's Rick, and today we're going to have a look at how to do trig functions on the Google Calculator. To get to the Google Online Calculator, what you do is just type in calculator into your Google search engine. You can see there it pops up for us, so we highlight that and press enter, and it takes us to this page here. This is really handy because as long as you have an internet connection and a computer, you'll have access to this calculator. Now for these trig examples, I'll be using degrees. So firstly, and probably most importantly, we want to make sure this is set to degrees mode. You can see it's set to rad mode or radians mode right now because rad is highlighted. So what we want to do is click on the DEG key there. And you can see it's darker, so that means it's on. Okay, so for the basics, sine, cosine, and tan are pretty easy to do. You can see we have the buttons here. If we wanted to, for example, find the sine of 30, all you have to do is press sine 30 equals, and you can see we get 0 0.5, which is correct. For cosine, again, just hit cos and 30 equals 0 0.8660. Yep, that's correct. And for tan as well, we just go tan 30 equals and 0 0.5773 etc. Yep, this one's rounded to 4, but yeah, we got the same answer. So that's all good and easy. Now what if we wanted to do cosecant, secant, or cotangent? Well, you can see this calculator doesn't actually have a button for that. So what you have to do is solve the corresponding function and then inverse the answer. So for cosecant, that would be sine. So for example, if we wanted to find the cosecant of 30, you do sine 30 like you did before, press equals, and then you want to use this x to the power of y button here. And you can see that gives us this little box, and then you put in the minus 1 there. That'll inverse this number. Press equals, and you can see we get 2, which is correct. For secant, we use cos, so cos 30 equals x to the y minus 1 equals again. And here we get our secant of 30, which is 1.1547. Yep, there you go. And tangent, of course, is used for cotangent. So tan 30 equals x to the power of y negative 1 equals. And we get a cotangent of 1.7320. You can also solve these by entering them into the Google search bar, but remember that Google always assumes radians, so you have to add degrees to the end. So, for example, cosecant of 30, we can just type in cosecant or CSC 30 space, and then we add degrees. Press enter, and you can see it solved it there for us. CSC of 30 equals 2. You can see if we don't add the degrees, we get a different answer. This is the result for radians, but in our example, that's not what we're looking for. You can do the same with secant, so SEC 30 space degrees. There we go, we got the same thing again. And for cotangent, you do that with C tan 30 degrees. And again, you can see we get 1.7320. You can also find arc sine, arc cos, and arc tan on this calculator. And there's actually a button for it. You can get to it by pressing the I and V key here. And you can see this changes the sine, cosine, and tan to their arc sine values, or arc sine functions. And what these do is allow us to take sine, cosine, and tangent backwards. We can go from the 0 0.5 and find out how many degrees we used to find it. So, for this example, let's say we want to do arc sine of 0 0.5. Go sine 0.5 equals, and we see we get 30. So that lets us know we use 30 degrees to get to 0.5. Arc cos 
remember we got 0 0.8660 for the cosine of 30 so inverse arc cos 0 0.8660 equals and you can see we get 30.0029 which would round to about 30 if we had more decimals there so that makes sense and finally 10 to the power minus 1 or arctan of remember we got 0.5774 rounded 0.5774 equals again we get 30.002 so this would round as well to 30 degrees if we had all our decimals in there all right and we can use the search bar to solve this as well so if we wanted to do again the arc sine of 0 0.5 we would just type in asin 0 0.5 and remember this assumes radians so we want to type in in deg to tell it we want degrees press enter and you can see it returns to 30 degrees if we wanted to do the arc cos of remember last time we got 0 0.8660 we enter 0 0.8660 press enter and you can see again we get what would round to 30 degrees and finally we can do the arctan as well this time it was 0.5774 and again we get to what would round to 30 degrees alright I hope this helps and good luck on those tests out there everybody